Hi guys, happy new week and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Margareta, aka the Maggie in your stew, okay? If you're new here, welcome, welcome. I would simply need you to do one thing for me, please. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new here, well, you already know what to do. So please like this video and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I post more videos. Thank you. So today I'm going to be doing things a little differently. As some of y'all know, or might know, I gracefully turned 19 in seven days, or as I like to call it, fine teen, okay? <laughs> exactly one week from today. And y'all, all I can tell you is that my life has been a whole testimony of but God. I say this because God has been so good to me, and even I cannot fully expound on how good he's been. There's a Yoruba song that says, So this song simply means that only only God understands the reason I'm so confident or the reason I'm so fly or the reason I've got my swag on and nobody else really understands this because they don't know how much God is doing for me and every day I realize how much I've grown both mentally and spiritually I've really come to understand that sometimes when you're not doing something you really really want to do for example maybe going to meet the guy you have a crush on just to start something or insulting someone who insulted you first or just to simply go out to a party with your friends it's not because you can't do these things it's just because you know you don't have to because God has something better in store for you and as I think about this it brings tears to my eyes because people see it as an act of weakness or that they can't be friends with you because you don't know how to have fun. But I want to let someone know, even if it's just one person, that life is a journey that is like a bus. People will get on with you and people will get off. One thing you should never do is try to force people who want to get off to stay on. Just let them get off. Keep standing strong for who you know yourself to be. Because guess what? Other people are going to see you from afar and they're going to get on with you and they'll never leave. So be patient with yourself and never compare your growth with the growth of others. And this part is my favorite part, y'all. You cannot grow on your own. You literally need other people to lie to you, to be good to you, to challenge you, to believe in you, to laugh at you, or just in general, be against you. Because think about it. Will that diploma have any meaning if you didn't have sleepless nights? Will that degree be worth it if you didn't pay so much loans to get it? Or would she really mean the world to you or be your treasure, quote, quote unquote, if you didn't work so hard to get just her number? That's why my Bible tells me that there will be tribulations in this world, but there's no reason to be worried because Jesus has already overcome the world. So don't see a disappointment as the end. Instead, see it as another opportunity for you to grow. Focus on yourself and what works best for you. People or even friends will get jealous of you. But they know, they know, they know. They're mad because it's not them. They're mad because it's you. They're mad because you do it better and so effortlessly. I turned 19 in seven days. I know that I'm definitely not where I want to be, not just yet. But can I look back and say I've come a long way? Heck yeah. And that's all I need for myself and for my growth. So don't forget, babes, you are unique. And nobody, nobody can be as good as you. To my next video, guys, you are loved.